you know, cancer at any age is obviously devastating, and uh, many people know that. But for children and for teenagers, the effects can have consequences that actually last longer than the disease itself. Youngsters' education can suffer very badly, of course, after months of illness. But now a Yorkshire family, which lost two members to cancer, has set up a unique charity to help young cancer sufferers keep up with their schoolwork, as Cathy Killick reports. They could be photos in any teenager's bedroom. In fact, they're displayed on a hospital ward, and many of the young people you can see have cancer. It's a devastating disease which affects all sufferers physically and emotionally, but help is at hand to prevent damage in one particular quarter, the youngster's education. Simon Peeney has the unique job of learning mentor on the teenage cancer unit at St James's Hospital in Leeds. So how are you doing then, Tom? OK, I was... Today, Simon's visiting Tom, who's having a blood transfusion. Despite a very disrupted education because of his illness, Tom hopes to become a film editor, and Simon has fixed him up with some work experience. I got to work on editing, and I worked on Heartbeat and Emmerdale and Countdown. Fantastic. Yeah. I love the job, yeah, it's fantastic. It's really good. I mean, I've, got the, I've been lucky I've had the opportunity to build it up from, from nothing to... to to, um, to fill the gaps that are there. So I've been able to tailor it to, to what the patients actually want. Here are the people who have made Simon's work possible. Peter Rawson and his daughter Emma Maltby both died of cancer. Because education was important to Emma, her mother and sister set up the charity that pays for Simon and the help he offers cancer sufferers. She'd be amazed, I think, that we'd done it. Uh, but it was something positive out of something so negative and so devastating, so I think she would have been very pleased. However ill someone is, they still need to have their own goals, and I think that's what we do, we give them a goal, and it, it, it's just uh, paramount to their quality of life. These days, recovery from cancer is more and more likely. Simon and the charity ensure that patients emerge from hospital prepared for the future doctors have given them. Kathy Killick, BBC Look North, Leeds. What a great idea, giving something back there.